Carmen Jimenez, and today I'll be teaching you how to make charms out of recycled plastic. Here's some I made earlier. It's important that we find creative ways to reuse plastic. A Danish company, Precious Plastic, has created a series of machines that repurpose and recycle plastic into furniture, stationery, and even sculptures. The plastic we'll be using today is polystyrene. Polystyrene ends up in our oceans and is broken down into microplastics. Microplastics are small particles of plastic that are ingested by oceanic marine life, fish. So you will need number six clear plastic. Look for the number six triangle stamped into the plastic underneath. It might have the letters PS for polystyrene. Permanent markers. Sharpies work well. And I also have water-based paint markers. You will need scissors, old photographs or magazines to trace your shape from, a oven or toaster oven heated to 300 degrees Fahrenheit, and a trusted adult. And some optional materials include a hole punch, earring hooks, pin backs, clothes pins, or anything you're going to want to glue or add to your charms after. The first step is to gather your photographs, drawings, magazines, or coloring pages. You want to begin to choose images, words, and shapes that inspire you. Shapes are closed geometric figures like circles, squares, and hearts. Look for larger drawings and shapes, about three inches, because the final charm will shrink by about half the size. Multiple shapes can be combined to create a new original drawing. Next, you're going to want to cut your plastic so that you have a flat surface to draw on. With a permanent marker, draw onto the outside of the plastic. I like to use a thin black Sharpie marker to create an outline. The outline is a line that defines or emphasizes the outside of a shape. The next step is to color the image onto the plastic using colored permanent markers or paint markers. This is where you get to add your own style to the drawing that you traced. Next, you want to cut out your charm using scissors. If you want to make jewelry, now's a good time to add a hole using a hole punch or a small craft blade. Once your charm is cut out, you can feel the edges. The edges are the outside limit of an object or surface. If the edges feel sharp, use a nail file or sandpaper to sand it down. Now you're ready to bake your charm so that it gets smaller and hardens. You'll want to place your charm in the toaster oven or regular oven at 300 degrees. You're going to need a flat surface to place your charm on. I have a little tray. You can use tin foil or nonstick parchment paper. I'm just going to use my tray. Using an oven mitt and a trusted adult, you're going to want to place your charm in the oven. Make sure your drawing side is face up and the smooth side is touching the tray. Once your charm is in the oven, it shouldn't take any longer than five minutes for the charm to curl up and then flatten back out again. The reason the charm curls up is because the outside edges are heating up faster than the middle. Okay, my charm is just about done. I left it curl up and flatten back out. So now we're ready to take it out of the oven. Make sure you have somewhere to place your tray and ask an adult for help. Now let it cool for a couple minutes before touching it. It's still pliable right now. 
so we want it to be stiff and hard and cool before we take it off the track. All right, and that's how you make your recycled polystyrene charms. I really like how my roller skate turned out. I think it's really cute. I'm probably gonna add it to something like this mini clothespin so I can hang photos in my room. You can also add it to little hair clips or you can punch holes into them and make them into necklaces. Add some little pin backs so you can wear it on your shirt. The options are endless.